Hey, what are we doing today? It's Ice Age TV and it's break, trailer break day. How about that idea? Jeez, another project, man. Just doesn't end, man. <laughs> yeah. So I bought my brake controller yesterday. And, you know, there's not really any how-to videos out there in great depth on this. You know, I'm kind of amazed. There's just no real YouTube videos of anything in great depth how to put this thing in. But, I mean, I can figure it out. But they're saying you mount the thing right here. But what's so puzzling is you have this little fitting here. Then you have the actual brake controller. You know, the uh, they set the uh, energy to your trailer. And that does not, I don't know how you get that in there without breaking this. I really don't want to break this. So follow me along into the unknown. A lot of people say, they say you're supposed to go over to your glove box. So they say you're supposed to go over to your glove box over here and put in the main brain, which I ain't doing that. So uh, let's see if I can get creative. Follow me along here. All right. So it's not a Ford product, but it interacts. So this here. You're telling you to mount that over on your and behind your uh, glove box, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it up up underneath here. So I'm gonna find a place to sticky it somewhere. That's my goal, and then I'm gonna run that cable for that little thingamajigger, the brake controller. I think over here, and I'm like, but I'm surprised they don't put like up here or something. Puzzling, because here, here's the actual brake. You see that little plug right there? That's empty. That's your plug to plug this brake controller in. So it's a plug and play. You know, something radical. See, so if look here, here's your uh, female. So this just plugs up, as far as I can tell, right up into that there. And then this plugs into this here. Okay, so pretty simple. I mean, years ago, I used to do electric brake controllers for all my cars and trucks before it's kind of a factory option. And, I mean, you, you know, it kind of sometimes gets a little complicated which wires you're splicing. So, uh, anyways, and then you have your controller, which is uh, this wire here. You know, this is actually the controller wire, plug and play that you plug into this here so it's all plug and play it's just getting all your wires but still i don't know how you're mounting this without taking this apart and breaking it i just don't want to find out the hard way you know because that's an electronic device that spins i'm sure others watch this like yeah i know how to do that so to keep it simple so i can get creative all right, the first thing I'm going to do here, plug this in. It's interesting. This thing has like a clip. A clip into that. So I don't know what that's all about here. Let me get up in there. All right, so look at this here. You see that? This actually is like your dummy plug to protect it. So you unclip this right here. That comes out. And I pulled this off, this had a little, this had this little clip, okay? So this is just a dummy clip to protect it. Now we're gonna put this clip in, okay? This is the real deal. And then you have this, uh, this will hold it in that place up there where that hole is. See that hole right there? All right, see that? I just plugged this cable in. It just plugs right in. And you just push that little black fitting in that hole and it's clipped in. It's all nice and secure. So now we got to plug in the uh, controller, which is this right here. This is your actual controller. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this thing up underneath here somewhere. Now, first you want to make sure is, see this cable here? It's coming out of this back port. So you want to make sure, you see there, I cut my hand to the end. 
wherever you put this, you want to make sure this cable goes far enough to wherever you're putting that little switch. And they're showing it right here. I guess you drill through here and put a fish tape down to get underneath here like this here. This looks like it's pretty easy to get underneath here, I'm guessing. So uh, follow me along. So right now I'm thinking, I think I can mount this up underneath the steering wheel down here. Now it'd probably be advantageous to get all your cables, you know, hooked up. Ooh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta turn off the uh, battery. So don't turn the car on. Ugh, yikes. You're supposed to disconnect that battery. So we'll do that. Yeah, the first thing you wanna do is disconnect your uh, negative battery. Good thing I thought about that, right? Before I started the truck up. So we'll find out, right? It'll be like, oh great, you freaking didn't disconnect the battery before you plugged that thing in. Your truck's cooked, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, battery's disconnected. You know, when I disconnect this thing, you hear all those funky noises from electronics. That's like mice were running out of my car. So definitely disconnect the battery. What I'm thinking is when you plug it back in, I think what happens is it uh, it then communicates to the computer to tell what's going on. That's my assumptions. So it's like a wake up and automatically programs this to the computer or the brake controller, but we'll find out. So I cut my hands up. All right, now, a little trick here is, don't be scared to pull on this panel. Look, it's designed to pop down. So that's pretty cool, because now you have really a lot easier access. So my thoughts were, you know, can I put this right here? And I don't think I can put it behind this. That's too tight, you know? So, you know, I thought it's hard to just put it on this plate right here. And uh, but anyways, here's, that's a huge, you know, that's huge for you right there. You know, like I say, you just pull real hard, these just pop out. And that should make our life a little easier. See how these have the notches here to fit in there? All right, now I've got everything hooked up. Like I say, I would, I'd get all your cables hooked up before you mount this thing up here. It just turns into a challenge. So, you know, it's a bummer. This right here, this, boy, when you get up in here to try to kind of work, your body really hits this. This is so tall and high. Ouch. All right. So, this is what I'm thinking right here. But, man, that is so sharp right there. Wow. I keep on rubbing my hand against that. Be really careful under here. It's not a metal. But, so, I'm thinking I put the sticky two-sided tape, and that'll probably be all right. So you say, well, you have your steering column's going to hit it, and you're going to hit that. Freaking how small are you, right? <laughs> mm. All right, so here's the sticky stuff, okay? And you probably want to wipe that down with alcohol. we get a little pad for you on the back side. All right, so now what I'd do is I'd put this little sticky pad on here, and then push it back in there. That's my goal. I tell you, you gotta be really careful. This is really bad. This is like a knife right here. This is extremely sharp. I mean, I, I think they, it's a manufacturing imperfection right there. Wow. I mean, it's bad. All right, you see that? Let's see if I can push it back in there. You can get it to set up, okay? Don't cut my damn hand all in pieces. Jesus Christ. Here's a little advice. Raise your uh, steering wheel up. I just thought of that. So you can get this working work a little easier. Another little idea for you. All right, there she is. See that? It worked out pretty good. And that sticky stuff's really good. I think it ain't going nowhere. All right, the next project is now getting this cable through here and up to there. So now you can just, you know, take this, slam it back up in here, and clean up your cable underneath there. And then we'll pull this other cable up into this area here. See that? That's really simple. It just clips right back in. And we are now making progress here. We think we are, right? You know how it plays out. You'll find out after you're done. And you know, it's cool as you can see that right there. Okay. All right, now I'm thinking I just take this. I was hoping this would pop right here. Is that really moving that well? So, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go behind this here. This is your actual controller for the brake energy. I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to lift this up. See here, I'm just going underneath here. Then I'm going to, I guess, drill a hole and then fish tape it and pull this through there. My freaking iPhone cables in my way. But anyway, so I know the light's kind of screwing everything up. But anyway, so this here should make it to here as they're showing us where you put it right here. Okay. Okay, you kind of seeing that right there? See that? So I'm just putting that cable up behind this. Just tuck it up underneath here. It ain't going to come out. See that? It's clean under there. Not going to hit your pedal. See, there's my wire top. Clean that up a little bit. You know, you'd hope that there was a hole in here, but there's not. So I'm going to have to drill through this and then fish tape it or wire it. Now, they give you this little template. So, uh, okay. <laughs> this is where it gets kind of complicated. You know what I mean? And this one gets even more complicated. You know? How the hell does that thing... I don't know. Hey, how about that? It actually just pulls off. So, you know, I'm in luck. And I bet you I'll never have that thing in the right position again. Well, you can just pull it off and change it. So, there you go. So, I guess that screw comes out to get into there. So let's check this out. That's encouraging. I don't want to break this damn thing. So it just it just pulls off like a cap. Okay, so this little uh, plastic thing slides off here. And then it goes here like this, I guess. Then that comes in from the back end. So I think we're making progress here. How about that, huh? All right, now it's making sense. So it just comes in the back end there. See here? See that? Just slides over like that. Then we put a little cap back on. Wherever the hell I put that damn thing, right? So you just put this cap back on, and there you go. So now it makes sense. I gotta drill out a hole big enough that console for that to work. Got it. All right, so see here, here's your circumference, your diameter. See that? So you just line that up, I guess, inside the console thing here. Yeah, you remember cut and paste in your kindergarten years? Well, here you go. I'm cutting and pasting. Now, I know some of you may think I watched a video, but I looked for videos, but I couldn't find a damn thing. So I'm just kind of figuring this out on my own. So is this how it's supposed to be? That'd be my guess. So that's what I'm thinking you do right there. Okay, so if you want to tape that and cut right through there, your big old hole, make sure you do it right, right? Now, my only concern is, see those uh, switches right there? Boy, I mean, if you're cutting through that and you catch one of those damn wires, oh boy. So this is saying drill a 3 16 inch drill bit and I guess I have no idea so let me figure this out as well <laughs> you know here's the this is what you're trying to look at this is the end result right here so if I drill right there that looks about right okay all right get a 3 16 inch bit now it's to the adventure of the unknown where it's saying I drill a 3 16 inch hole right here. Oh boy. All right, I just did like a whole circular, that 3 16 inch. I was saying a one inch bit. I don't even have that. So I'm just gonna drill through the center and about to clean it up with my X Acto knife or something, cutter box knife. We'll see. I got a Dremel tool, that may work too. So see, I'm going to use this big-ass bit now. Yikes, right? Uh -huh. Now that goes through very easily. So now let's see a disaster I just made, right? In my nice Bronco. Right? Uh-huh. 
the experts out there, the experts out there, be like, "Yeah, I mean, you did all wrong." You know, probably did. <laughs> I didn't feel any wires, or did I? <laughs> yeah, plastic everywhere. Nice. All right, so I'm doing now. Be really careful. I'm cutting through here. You can always trim it up, but I'm, I'm doing. I'm just going hole to hole to hole. Let's see if my idea works. All right, not too shabby. Now, I don't want to plug this in yet because uh, I'm going to pull my wire through there first. But I think I think I made I think I did it. Might just be trimmed up a little bit. No, actually, it feels good. Concern right here. Got a little concern. I got a little scratch there, but okay, it's not perfect, but maybe it is. All right, let me get my wire. Let me show what I'm gonna do next. Get a coat hanger or something. All right. Hey, this is pretty cool. I put a uh, hitch on the back of one of my buddy's trucks, and I kept this little flexible wire. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there it is. So I'll just tie the end of this onto it and pull it through. How about that idea? All right. I'm going to pull it through here. Now, you want to might want to cover that end there with some black tape so nothing gets in those ports. So let's see how I do here as I pull up underneath here. All right, get yourself a pair of needle nose to grab it. Pull it up and through here, through here. So a little wire now, see that? Don't even know it's there. And now we're gonna plug her in and we're making headway here. That's cool. All right, now we'll get this all set up in that assembly and then plug it in. All right, now we've gotta put this thing back together before you plug it in. See this, this lower part here? That's notched, and it's notched. You know, you think that little hole would be like a light for this or something? I don't know what that's all about. So you take and put this like this here, okay? And then you screw down this little plastic part because it then tightens it down so it stays on so it doesn't fall off. See that? Then you put your little trailer thing on. Now, for me, I'm just I'm going to make it go all the way to the left here. That screws all the way to the left. And I'm just going to assume that means the trailer's like that. That would be like the down position. And you can take it off and adjust it, you know, to whatever you got to do. Okay, but now see it's tight and it won't fall out. Then you plug it in here. You know, then you plug it in and then you push this thing in, okay? Now be sure to tighten down that little plastic threaded thing. Get a little, like, pliers. Okay, and like I say, turn this back. Doesn't matter. This thing pops off to adjust it, so we can get too caught up on that right now. So let's plug it in here. All right, now she's plugged in. Now let's tuck her down in here, and let's see. I haven't tested this. Let's see if I did it right or wrong. And got my little tabs here. I may have to play with it a little bit, you know. I don't know. Maybe not. I think I'm gonna have one hole a little exposed here, maybe. No, I don't know. I don't know if it's finagle that or not. Hold on here. All right, I had to trim it up just a little bit more. Be really careful on that. You don't cut your wire. And uh, look at that, man. Pretty awesome, right? Kind of wish I didn't get that little scrape there, but yeah, what's the big deal, right? So now we're gonna power back up and watch the truck catch on fire. All right, that's the next thing we're gonna do. But before I do that, let's just make sure my wires are kind of up here okay right now. I think they are. So that's another little project here. Trim that back. Okay. All right. Now let's put the battery back on. Right here. The listen up here. Listen to this thing. Hear that? Yeah. Get that down there. Don't cross your... Don't... Did you hear all that noise? <laughs> all right. Got the uh, negative battery back on. And let's see what happens now, right? Let's see what happens to my vehicle here. All right. Let's see what happens here. It's like... So 
light up or anything? Okay, so what's this talking about here? All right, so I already set up the trailer with my motorcycles. You haven't seen these. My Hondas. How about that? I got a Honda Rebel 500. Got a Honda Effort Twin. Now, a lot of you, if you follow my channel, you saw a blue, white and blue when I bought last. Last uh, fall, I turned around and I traded it for the... Uh, Actual, the DCT Sport Edition. I did not like that base uh, Afro Twin. The suspension to me sucked. It was really bad. And actually, I, I, I bad mouthed the DCT and these Hondas for quite a while. But I had the older versions from 2018. And I really do like this, uh, the new DCT. Yeah, I wonder whose that is, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking we take the floor. But here's the thing. See, here's, this is 400 pounds. This is like 480, I think. Okay, so that's 980 pounds, you know. So we'll just say it's 1,000 pounds, okay? So, because you got 500, they get 900. No, we got about 900 pounds here, I guess. And, you know, so 900 plus 2,300 is 3,200. Is that right? Yeah, I might get my numbers right here. I'm just going to say it's 1,000. So this is, there'll be like 3,300 pounds. Then if I throw any gear in here, you know, there'll probably be 3,400 pounds. Me you, towing with that trailer, with that Bronco. So that's 3,500 pounds. So, you know, that's that's the maximum tow. And I want to drive this up the road right now just to see if my, first of all, I want to see if my, uh, if my brake controller works. But I also want to see how this feels behind that Bronco. Is it going to feel like a total dog? You know, here's the downside. Look at I drive over there. I drive that freaking massive thousand foot pound torque truck. Then you get behind these smaller vehicle trucks, and you know this is a a bear. All right, follow me along on the brake controller install day.